For seven weeks now, a horrific story has been unfolding in Mexico, one that sparked mass protests. It has to do with the disappearance of 43 students. They were rounded up by police and handed over to members of a drug cartel who have since confessed to their mass murder. It was all allegedly orchestrated by a local mayor, who, as Robin Gill reports, has now been charged with murder. For weeks, students and unions have been putting pressure on the Mexican government to find 43 missing college students. We are demanding that the government show us our 43 disappeared colleagues, she says. That's the most important thing right now. The students disappeared in September after a confrontation with police officers in the city of Iguala. Mexico's attorney general believes the officers rounded up the students and handed them over to the Guerreros Unidos drug cartel all on the orders of Iguala's mayor. Jose Luis Abarca and his wife were arrested in Mexico City, charged with homicide. The students were all hoping to become teachers. The government says they were all murdered, their bodies burned. But the Rodriguez family refuses to give up hope and believes their son Christian is still alive. I'm hopeful. I feel it in my heart, says his father. They have hidden somewhere, but I hope they're going to let them go any day now. This part of Mexico is heavily entrenched in a drug war, and human rights groups have accused the government of turning a blind eye. The most terrible thing about this, this activist says, is that they lied to us. The government told us they were looking for missing people. They weren't looking for anybody. The bodies of the 43 are apparently in a garbage dump, and the government claims they're so badly burned, there may not be enough DNA evidence to identify them. Robin Gill, Global News.